hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I want to give you 10 reasons why if you live in the US or the UK you should consider moving to Italy. So let's get straight down to it. Number one, affordable real estate. Now in most of Italy real estate prices are much lower than the US or the UK especially if you decide to buy in regions such as Sicily, Calabria, Abruzzo, Le Marche or even Umbria. In parts of Calabria you can find sea view apartments for under 50,000 euros but even in some of the wealthier cities such as Turin, Parma, Trieste, Padova or Verona property prices on average cost only around 2,000 euros per square meter which translates roughly to around 180 US dollars per square foot. This is much cheaper than equivalent cities in the UK and especially the US. Now as long as you avoid cities like Milan, Venice and some of the very touristic areas such as Portofino, Capri, the Amalfi Coast and Cortina d'Ampezzo then property is really affordable. Even in Rome, the capital, property prices are quite reasonable at an average of 3,300 euros per square meter. Now, let's talk about number, point number two, the excellent healthcare system. Italy has one of the best healthcare systems in the world, both public and private. And private healthcare is much cheaper compared to the US and the UK. People in the UK will obviously know full well that nearly 8 million people are on a waiting list in England alone to begin treatment in a hospital. Now, Italy has more than four doctors per thousand people, whereas the US has less than three. So medical care in Italy is certainly very good. Point number three, toxicity. Now, many Americans I speak to complain of the toxic environment they are living in and they just want to live in peace. Now although to a lesser extent than the US, the UK has also become a more divisive society in particular since the Brexit vote. In Italy in general they will leave you alone, it's a less toxic environment especially if you live in a small town or village. Number four, better quality of food. Italian food is more authentic than in the US or the UK. There is a lot of variety as each region of Italy has its own speciality. Microwave meals in Italy hardly exist and there are far fewer fast food outlets in Italy than either the US or the UK and I am talking per thousand people. Now number five longer life expectancy. Now in many ways point five is connected to point two and four. Life expectancy in Italy is seven years higher than the US and three years higher than the UK. But what is also very important to consider is that the quality of the final years of your life are also much better in Italy. You often see people in Italy well into their 80s and into their 90s as well living a good quality of life. Number six, a slower pace and better quality of life. Italy is a great place if you want a less stressful lifestyle. Italians enjoy a more relaxed pace of life. They tend to cherish every moment with family and friends and they take longer to eat their meals. So they obviously Italians are very into their food and their wine. Number seven, the lower cost of living. Now Italy is by no means cheap but it is still a lot less expensive than the UK and the US. We have already spoken about housing and private medical care but things like transport, eating out, entertainment, college and university fees are also less expensive in Italy, in particular if you live in the south. Number eight, Italy is stunningly beautiful. 
whether you are into nature or beautiful artistic cities, Italy has it all. Italy has a very much diverse range of architectural styles which span a period of over 3,000 years, including Greek, Roman, Romanesque, Medieval, Gothic, Baroque, and Italy has numerous beautiful cathedrals, churches, castles, museums, and art galleries to suit every taste. Italy has also got stunningly beautiful mountains, rivers, countryside, and amazing beaches as well. So Italy is great in that if you want a beach, you're never really far away from a beach. Wherever you are in Italy, it, the maximum usually can be about two hours by car. And if you want the mountains, they're never far away either. So Italy, from this perspective, has so much to offer. Number nine, plenty of activities. Now, whether you enjoy hiking, skiing, watching live sports, theatres, opera houses, museums, or even just long walks on the beach, Italy has it all. So you will never get bored of living in Italy. And number 10, very, very important, friendly people. The Italians in general are friendly people. It is generally easier to strike up friendships, especially if you do not live in a big city. Now, if you want to strike up friendships, it's probably better to live in one of the smaller towns in Italy or villages. You're bound to make friends. But even in some of the medium-sized cities, you're much more likely to make friends in Italy than you are in the UK and the US. Italian people are very friendly. And also, Italians are very, very family orientated. So if you want to come to Italy to start a family or you just like that family environment, then I think Italy would be very, very, very suitable for you. Of course, not everything in Italy is perfect. Um, we want to be very objective in this video and there are downsides in Italy. And some of these downsides are things like bureaucracy. Bureaucracy isn't great in Italy. Also, if you are somebody who wants to come to Italy and find a job, job opportunities are not that great, especially compared, let's say, to the US. You should come really if you are somebody who's retired or potentially if you're a digital nomad and can work um, abroad, then Italy is a great place to come. Again, if you're looking for employment, you may find some employment in cities like Milan, Turin, more in the north. You may get lucky in Rome. But in the south of Italy, it is much, much harder to find employment. And in fact, you'll find a lot of young Italians from the south work in the north. Also, the taxation in Italy isn't particularly great. Although there are um, good schemes as well, particularly if you're well off, there is a scheme where you pay a maximum of €100,000 a year, no matter how much you earn. So if you're well off, that can be good. There are other good arrangements. If you go and live in very small cities, then you'll pay less tax on your pension. But perhaps I think that is for another video. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. Um, I would love to know your thoughts. Um, do you think Italy is a country you would want to move to and buy property in? Or would you find it a little bit too bureaucratic? I would love to know your thoughts. Anyway, as ever, thanks ever so much for watching this video and I shall see you soon on the next one.